Hello, I'm John Dennis. I'm a resident of Halifax, Nova Scotia, and I have idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. In 2016, my younger brother died of idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis in British Columbia. Nobody in the family knew he had the disease until after he died. And I immediately knew I had it because I had been sick every spring for many years. And the doctors just kept saying, oh, it's COPD or it's pneumonia. My family doctor said, you got a Velcro sound at the bottom of your lungs. I was diagnosed with idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. What is pulmonary fibrosis? Pulmonary fibrosis, or PF, is the common term used to describe a large family of diseases that cause inflammation and scarring in the lungs. The medical term is interstitial lung disease, or ILD. As the disease progressed, it became more exhausting. I couldn't do anything without oxygen. I literally pant it just like I would if I was doing a pulmonary function test. It was <laughs> and the doctors became very concerned. I then said to my respirologist, I'd like to be considered for a transplant. And Dr. Shaysan just looked at me and said, the oldest patient I have ever referred is 73 years old. I said, that's great. You got 17 days. I won't be 73 for 17 days. Let's get on with it. And I decided I'm not getting any satisfaction in Halifax. So I bought an airplane ticket to Toronto. In June of 2020, I got word that I was not getting a transplant. And I wrote a letter of appeal and I got turned down and I wrote a second letter and I got turned down. And I wrote a third letter. And finally they said, put a stent in the man 28 days later, if he's fine, send him to Toronto. And I went to Toronto on September 24th, 2020, and was listed on October the 5th. When I woke up in recovery and they uh, pulled the tube out, I just lay there with a great big grin on my face. And doctor came running over and said, what's the matter? Are you hallucinating? I said, no. I said, I'm relishing the fact that I can breathe. I have too much to do in life to give up. I've sailed across the Atlantic single-handed five times. I've sailed across the Pacific, and I have a desire for more adventures. I knew nobody in Halifax that had idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, and I formed the Halifax Pulmonary Fibrosis Support Group. We support each other, we educate each other, and um, it's made life a lot easier for everyone. This is my mission in life now, to help my fellow IPF patients